Jennifer Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Happy Pride Weekend, everyone. Celebrate safely. Wow, we had some big changes in the market this week. Canopy Growth and Acreage Holdings have changed the terms of their deal. And you may recall, back in 2019, Canopy Growth said it was going to buy Acreage Holdings for $3.4 billion. Well, a lot has happened since then. Canopy Growth is now saying they're only going to give those acreage holding shareholders $37.5 million. And they've also changed the terms on the shares. Also, CEO Kevin Murphy is out. Aurora Cannabis also made a big announcement this week. They are laying off 25% of their employees. That is happening immediately. Another 30% are going to be laid off over the next two quarters. The company is also closing five of its growing facilities. They are only going to focus on the largest and most efficient cultivation sites. Jushi Holdings is planning on buying Pennsylvania Medical Solutions from Vireo Health in a deal valued at $37.5 million. They're expecting that deal to close August 20th. Jushi is looking at this as a way to really plant their flag in the state of Pennsylvania. GW Pharmaceuticals said that the UK Home Office has reclassified its Epidiolex drug to a Schedule 5, so no longer a controlled substance drug. Tilt Holdings reported their quarterly revenue of $42.4 million. That's up 27% quarter over quarter and 23% over the same time period last year. They also reported a positive net income of $50,925. Organogram released a very brief announcement this week saying that they were the subject of a lawsuit and that they were also going to change their trailer park buds brand. Organogram wouldn't comment on the case, but it is looked at as a class action case that could um, seek some damages from the cannabis company. And it may be with regards to pesticides that have been found on the cannabis company's products. And we have some stock trading cease orders that happened this week. We're going to put up that chart right now. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchardt for the Green Market Report.